very happy to have the opportunity to talk about the Cayman Islands. It's always a, a good topic, and we're always looking for opportunities to say the, the success story that we've had. Um, I think you know that we've had a 20% growth the first quarter of this year compared to last year, and we're looking at continued growth. We expect to finish the year above 10%, and we'll just see how that plays out because it certainly looks like the number is going to continue to be strong. We're happy with our room stock, which shows a 20% growth over the next three years, and obviously our airlift continues to grow as the room stock grows. We're very pleased with the average daily rate, which is one of the highest in the region, and continues to be a driver for our economy. But the most important thing for us is what tourism does for the people of the Cayman Islands. And we view it and say from a government standpoint, all of the things that we're doing and all of the success that we're having, if this doesn't benefit the Caymanian people, then we failed. And we certainly do not intend to fail because we're having success with it now and we will continue to have that success. One of the most important projects that we have, which we brought to term, is our hospitality school, which brings young Caymanians into the tourism industry and give them lifelong opportunities. And we're so pleased when we see them in the industry itself working. Now, the competitive edge for Cayman is the people, because the visitors want to enjoy that cultural experience and, and the love that the Caymanians have for people who visit the island. So when we put all of those things together, I would say that's a recipe for success, and we invite you to come and visit with us. That's awesome. Tell us a little bit more about, I guess, activities, food, things that uh, my audience would do if they were visiting the Cayman Islands. I think the most important thing that you can do is not over-promise, um, deliver an expectation, and, and that drives repeat guests, which we have over 50% repeat guest ratio, which is extremely high, and we're very pleased with that. When you're coming to Cayman, we have all of the things that you're going to find in the region, sun, sea, sand, and we go farther than that because of the attractions that are there and the enjoyment that you can have. Um, if it's a family vacation or a generational vacation, the opportunities for Stingray City, for fishing, for botanical garden, for the birth of our democracy at Pedro St. James. All of those are easily accessible with top class infrastructure and, and top class transportation. That's awesome. And let's give it your uh, website. Beg your pardon? Your website. We have a new website. Uh, okay. But you have to give me a minute so I can get it. Our, our new website. Visit. Okay. Visit CaymanIslands.com. Okay, everyone, visit CaymanIslands.com. That is an affirmation. <laughs> That's an affirmation. That's what I call to action. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Well, I really appreciate all the great things that you are doing um, here for Cayman Islands. That your uh, press conference was really just very, very well done, and it, it gave us a lot more insight. Thank you very much.